Good morning and welcome to another video and today is a historic day. I've been saying that quite a lot recently, but it is. Mary, why is today a big day? Rude. Um, so I have not squatted or deadlifted for close to three months. Today we are going to London. We're going to see Jared, aka the Jared, so that weird. Jared, aka the world's greatest Achilles specialist. Um, and I think, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. What are you singing? What are you singing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, what noise does a dinosaur make? Realistic. I think. Sorry, I do it there. I think we're going to be squatting and deadlifting at least to some extent. So today we're going to establish how, <laughs> how much, how much we've lost. Basically, how much ground do you lose? from going from squatting and deadlifting multiple times a week to not doing it at all for close to three months. We're gonna find out. Ben is on the scene. We filmed a couple of bangers oh. yesterday. <laughs> still, those videos probably haven't come out yet. They'll be coming out the next week or two, so be ready for those. Ben, what are your thoughts on my glorious return to squatting and deadlifting? Yeah, because I've had like a good window of opportunity to try and close the gap between yeah. us, and now <laughs> Matt's about to like absolutely <laughs> blow it apart. Blow it away. <laughs> so, Mara's about to go swimming. We need to get some breakfast. Let's get this day started. I'm excited. If you're excited, drop the video a like. Here we go. Okay, please can I, you know like with the bagel, can I just like semi-customize it? Okay, can I please get uh, bacon, avocado, egg, and halloumi on a bagel? Sure. <laughs> In addition to that, please can I get, um, can I get the pancakes for like just maple syrup? For just like loads of maple syrup? <laughs> literally, <laughs> don't literally do that. I do that. <laughs> ben, go through to my uh, Could I just get like a bit of Victoria sponge please? I can also grab like an orange juice, please. Yes, please. Oh, all right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Preparation for the main event. Yeah. Go right. Thank you very much. I have breakfast of the kings. Bagel, halloumi, bacon and egg. One absolute dream scenario. Won't lie, that's quite underwhelming, but still it will be nice because it's pancakes and syrup. Because you took everything off it. Mine looks nice. Off it. I didn't take it off it, I just didn't ask. I thought it was going to be a stack, but still I'll, I'll take that. Ben's got a measly, <laughs> a cake. one of cake. But when you smeared all the jam. Yeah, spread it out, you know, make sure it's easily distributed. Just to hammer this home. Ben, you're, you're trying to bulk right now, right? Yeah, well, this is still part of my breakfast, to be fair. This will, well, this will put me up to probably like a little bit of cake for his breakfast for me. Yeah. No, no, I've already had a breakfast. This, this, is, my second breakfast. this is a great representation of me and Ben. This is me, that's Ben. I have distinguished. This is. There's videos coming soon. The one video we filmed yesterday. You'll understand. We're this mad wide. Absolutely oh, let him go down. Don't spoil it. Let him go down. Absolutely blew men away. <laughs> well, it depends. It depends on what video we're talking about, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, see. Oh. Yeah. Well, still, there wasn't. Okay. What did you get, you sexy babe? Show them. <laughs> Bit of vomit in my mouth. Oh. Then. <laughs> you said it. So, Sarah's got the worst version of mine. Sarah's <laughs> got the nice maple syrup pancakes and then put loads of fruit and soggy yogurt on it. But she's an absolute freak. She's getting the perfect <laughs> breakfast. Ready for this? How to eat this bagel setup 101. Step one, cut a 30 degree segment out of your bagel. Step two, halloumi on top. I feel like you're losing Step your three. audience here. No, the audience is <laughs> as engaged yeah, as ever. The new duration is <laughs> This is where it's going to take the hit now. Step three, bacon on top. It's not working, it's falling apart mate. Step far but four, remove the bacon, absolutely put the egg in the bacon. Are you going to be offended if I press and it, and it, it on and top? And, 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 and then step five, Throw your pork on the floor. Step six, get rid of that crap. That's <laughs> what you throw in my face, that's immature. Step seven, sit back, relax, and enjoy. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. That was good, that was a solid. 8.5 out of 10 breakfast. I'm excited, look at that car, sir. Look at that car. Look at that car, look at that car. Look at that car. That's Ben's car. <laughs> Actually, I'll say this is a little bit of Surprise, inside ben. information. Ben has not learned to drive yet, have you, Ben? 
I don't need to drive. Ben can't drive. I can drive my Well, I, I put the environment Drive first. me crazy. Well, I'm a man of the <laughs> In a sexual way, I mean, like an annoying <laughs> way. Man of um, constant <laughs> sexual undertone to everything he says. Anyway, uh, we need to go back now, head to the gym, because I need to pick up some bits for later on. These, mate, squat shoes. These have got cobwebs in them, because I haven't worn them so long. Very excited to get these bad boys. On a side note, Loving it. This is our pond, mate, and we've got some ducks in the pond. Shall I try and feed them? What can I feed them? I put the environment Drive me crazy. Pretty sure ducks eat. No, I don't think they want it. No. <laughs> ben, push them in. Is it worth it's it? worth it. It's worth it. <laughs> I don't know if you did that. The ducks in our pond, mate, it's pretty cool. Anyway, <clears throat> I have a train to catch. In fact, we have a train to catch. I'm going to go physio. Ben's gonna go back to Norwich to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ben lives on the farm. I put the environment Drive me. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's make that happen. the lack of range is impacting but I think also part of it is the, obviously the ability to push off. I can't properly push off. So like I can now, yeah I can so I can do this which is like absolutely fine. And al although I lean this way, it's still like you know I c I'm using that that car. Yeah. But I don't feel like like for example there, I don't feel like I'm even close to being able to do that. Still a little bit Smaller than the right one, right? I wouldn't use the word smaller, I'd probably use the word a bit flaccid, less, <laughs> less, less dense. Yeah. So the tone is a little bit down, I can sit my thumbs back into it, but it's a little bit subjective. Yeah. You can feel this one's quite firm, yeah. but that's all right. Can I get you to have a wander over to the... Um, mm -hmm. and up on. Any irritation down at the insertion down here? Uh, no, not, not, not the skid, like, it's just, like I said, I get that feeling I described for the car braces, I've had that like once or twice walking. Yeah. Again, it's, it's very, very mild. Again, if it was another body part, I wouldn't even acknowledge it. It's just yeah. because it's in my... And it's so honest when I pull on the scar? No. Like, so with the carb raises, it's not for the whole movement. It's like at a point where it's like, there it is, there it is, there it is, do, do you mean, rather than like the whole time. Yeah. Just like a little flick, but it's, it's very, very minor. No, it looks good. I mean, it's nice and thick when I compare this. I was going to say that. It's like, I mean, is that is that sheep? What is that? Because obviously, is that all tendons? It's fucking massive. It is. Like, yeah, it's all tendons. Like when you pinch it, it's about three times the width. Of the well, that's what we want. So initially, we know from some of the evidence over in from Delaware University that if you don't get an increase of greater than one centimeter or ten mil, yeah, at three months, yeah, at one year follow up, you. You're what's called your limb symmetry index, you have a lot of deficits. Yeah. So you jump high, your ability to be athletic yeah. is quite severely affected. Okay. So it's important that at three months, which is coming up shortly, that we will ultrasound you and have a look and measure it and just see what's going on with the tendon. Yeah, yeah. Up until then, it's kind of not that relevant. Yeah. You can feel like some of the sutures, um, you know, when he stitches the paratene on up and things like that and then it's going to be a bit lumpy and a bit odd yeah, to start yeah. with and the feeling is going to be a bit odd yeah. but I think you know from that perspective of it feels thick if it was thin we'd have problems concerned. Yeah, yeah. no we would have a lot of problems it would okay. be for me it would be a massive concern okay. um, uh, if it was really thin so listen for where you're at it's great you know the fact that you can double a calf raise um, you know is a really good sign for me the fact that it's thick at the moment yeah. is really really important yeah, okay. um, what weight have you been able to do? Well, yeah, that, what point is that? I was going to ask about that actually, because obviously everything I'm doing is very slow. Even like you know walking around, everything super slow. Yeah. What what point would you start to like? Yeah. So we look at doing that, you know, at anywhere between four months, three four months, something like that, depending on how you're getting on. Okay. Yeah. Do you know, so if if your heel raised height is equivocal to the other side, yeah, you've got no discomfort. You're walking freely. Everything looks good. Then yeah. we can start to sort of work on in increasing your um, your force expression or the okay. speed of your force okay. your force development. So, you know, 
up until that point, we just have to be a bit gentle. The tendon's still healing, as you know. Yeah. The most susceptible part, really, is um, when you come out of the boot, so between six weeks and 12 weeks. Yeah, yeah, the next few weeks. Um, yeah. And this, the tendon stretches the most between six and 12 weeks. Yeah. You go back a fraction more. So I'm okay to feel a tiny bit, yeah. Okay. Because yeah. it feels much, as long as much you, better as contraction long, when I'm under there. As long as the contraction times are slow. Yeah, okay. So long, long, long contraction yeah, times, yeah. it's fine. Nothing quick and jerky. Yeah. And remember, don't use your hip flexor to pull up, which you're doing now. That's better. Nice and slow, slow up, slow down. It's really hard not to go on my toes as well, because I want to get that, I want to, you know, I, I always think about the thing you said about the loss of that last bit of the range, but obviously going on your toe isn't the range, it's not even part of the range, is it? And what you should find is after you've done this exercise, you should feel like you can walk a bit easier. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly how it feels. Just with the bike, like, I'll show, I can show you my setup. My sumo deadlift setup, my foot barely even gets the plantar grade, there's no, it doesn't touch the flexion. I want to do it, but like with a sumo. Like, so my sumo stance, right? I'm literally like, I'm here. So like, not it, that's as far as it goes. It's fine. And with the elevated hill, it's even less. There's like yeah, zero. So grab, the, grab that bar. But what I was going to ask you is like, what's the? So I know there's no stretch at all. Do you know what it is? It's getting into position. Yeah, but, but also I didn't know what what the what, how much of a green light I have in terms of just the force. Because obviously, even though there's no stretch, right? When I'm pulling weight, there's obviously still force going through that. So like how much is good? So I like, think at I mean? this point, we'd probably do half your body weight. But like, I mean, it's literally like I feel like I'm asleep, like there's nothing. I think I could, so I, let's, let's progress you yeah. at home. Yeah. That's five kilos out of side, 10 yeah. kilos. Let's try and get you to say 220 kilo plates either side mm -hmm. and just build up from there. Okay. The reason why I want you to be safe is one, picking up heavy plates, moving them around inside yeah. the gym, yeah. there is a risk. Yeah. But also, you know, I just, I understand that you're very good at deadlifting, but there's always a risk when you put lots of weight yeah. through it. And at this point, the, the risk, the benefit doesn't outweigh the risk. Yeah. Is it okay, like if it feels completely fine and there's like not, not even, you know, it's not even, I'm not even aware of it being there, and I'm deadlifting, like, I obviously don't want so much force to start eruptions. Like, do you know what I mean? I don't, I don't know how I gauge the, that. The issue I have is not that. If you sumo deadlift like that, I have no issue with it going through the tendon because you're not going into dorsal flexion range. Like and your weight going is going through your heel. The issue I have is that if you stumble or if you move yeah. and you have to, yeah. and that's the issue I have, okay. is that that's the risk. And I talked about that. Yeah. A heavier, con slow contraction is relatively ish safe. And I say relatively ish safe. Yeah. It's that if something happens and you're holding a heavy bar and you've got to step yeah. forward or you yeah. lose balance yeah. or whatever it be, yeah. and that's the risk that I have. It's always that. And in all the you know elites I've worked with, I've had a couple of high level basketball players that have been at home, hopping around, doing all the right things, caught their flip flop, tripped and ruptured their tendon yeah. off the bone. This is a really nice safe environment. I'm yeah. here making sure nothing silly happens. But you know, if, the kids are running around, if your phone starts ringing, yeah, yeah. those kinds of distractions, yeah. at this point, no, that, the can, risk is in the I can guard things. against all that. It was just, for me, it was just knowing <clears throat> if I'm actually yeah. safe just to do the movement yeah. with some resistance, like. At this point, I don't think you have enough range to do the kind of squat that you want to do. Yeah, no, I, I, no, no, I don't think so. Like, I might, so my, I mean, my normal, if I, like this leg, my normal squat, I, I'm literally like, I'm yeah, so, so far over my toe, nowhere near. Range, so that's yeah. fine. But let's, let's see but how I you go, you've got. Do like a, I feel like two, I mean, I could either, you know, like a block, so my foot's not having to go. Yeah, I mean, at this point, no. just to pick up the weight and get into that position. Yeah. So I don't think it's worth the risk. Like here, like, you know, like a goblet, you like with a dumbbell, for example. Just, 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 you are persistent. I think, I think Matt doesn't stimulus. take no as an answer. Just, just throw it out there, because if I sit back, like, I'm not my, again, as, as long as my foot and knees are going to access anywhere. to a Smith machine or a Spanish uh, squat. You have a Spanish squat? Like the, yeah, like you mean, the yeah, 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 yeah. So you could do that. Okay. I have no problem with that. Yeah. Okay. What, <laughs> okay. <laughs> what, else, what else can I? How else can I push this a little bit? <laughs> just kind of like, because basically, the wider I go, the less re like. The wider we go, the more we can lift. Almost replicate <laughs> my sumo style. Like if I'm squatting here, like my knee's not even going Matthew. beyond. I get the point. <laughs> I know what you're saying, Matthew. But my point still stands. Okay. Is that at this point, it's the 
benefit doesn't outweigh the risk. Yeah, okay. So you can still leg press. Yeah. There are things knee extend, you can still work on getting stronger. Yeah. It's just at the moment, I don't think you squatting heavy, there's a benefit because the risk of you damaging your Achilles at this point in your rehab is too high. Like a, bar, like a barbell squat with a wider stance, there's no dorsiflexion. What point would you say I could do that? Like we're just literally a bar. Let's chat in two weeks. Okay. <laughs> We've got enough work to do. Okay. I feel like we're just gonna. You're gonna keep on asking me a, similar, <laughs> a question of similar vein, slightly different exercise okay. in a squat formation. Okay. I just at this point, I just it's it's okay. kind of a. I think we've answered that question, but you've got work to do. Yeah, yeah, deadlift. That's why I can focus on deadlift. Remember, your tendon is not completely healed yet. Oh right. Okay. That was that was good. Like uh, so. Bottom line is, I can deadlift and I can deadlift. Not heavy, but you know, a, a serious, like an actual amount of weight, right? which is pretty amazing. It means that I can start progressing and like have something to focus on with my lower body, which is amazing because I'm desperately needed that. Can't squat just yet, but I can do squat variant, so that's okay. I'll be doing that again soon to get the quads going. But yeah, it's good news. Uh, we're gonna head to the gym now, and I'm gonna actually try some deadlifts for the first time in just under three months. Before I forget as well, the Morsia Summer Transformation Challenge. Entries are open. You've got a few days left to get in there. Bottom line is, if you are looking to change your life in a positive way for this summer over the course of the next few months, whether that be getting lean, like losing some body fat, putting on some muscle, getting bigger, just getting healthier, getting in you know, better shape, having a more healthy lifestyle, this is the place to do it. Top link in the description, come and join the challenge. There's gonna be thousands of people doing the same thing, being supportive, helping each other out, moving towards a collective goal, and the best thing is, we're gonna be picking people at the end to give away 5,000 pounds in cash and the chance to come and train with me in the Morsi Gym. So like I said, top link in the description, Summer Transformation Challenge, come and get involved. Let's go to the gym. How does it feel? I mean, it feels mad to be honest. Like, I don't want to jinx it and I want to be patient, but at the same time, literally cannot feel it at all. Nothing whatsoever. On a side note, I've like put the collars here, right? So obviously I use a deadlift bar. I have a very wide stance at home. This is a regular gym bar. So I want to get, the, the wider my stance is, the less my knee goes anywhere near dorsiflexion and the less pressure there is on my Achilles. But that feels amazing. I'm going to, I'm gonna have to obviously keep it mega conservative, but I'm basically gonna build up, accumulate some volume. I can already feel the soreness is gonna be disgusting, but yeah, I'm excited. Let's do some deadlifts. Deadlift's done, uh, somewhat anticlimactic. I did three sets of 10 with 100 kilograms, which is like, uh, that's literally my second warm up set weight. So you're talking 33%, not even that, 30% of my, of my one max. So very, very, very light. Weight felt absolutely fine. Like I could barely feel the weight. Sauna's not as bad as I thought. Back is like feeling it a bit just because I haven't deadlifted for like I said pretty much three months. So that's to be expected. But yeah, I'm playing it mega, mega safe. The plan from here on in is just to increase that weight by very small increments, uh, give the Achilles chance to adapt, get strong as be an absolute monster. And that's that. So for now, we're gonna do some more leg bits, a couple of calf bits, and then we're done. 
I don't have the time, bro, I don't wear a watch I'ma move regardless, just like the clock Been around here before, I've been on this block 25 to life, bit I live on this rock Planet Mars, dog, my planet raw Took trips and landed far Took hits I can't ignore My chest got a black hole I dealt with a black crow White dove, a black soul White ball, my past clothes I try to get away from it Not trying to let the vapors in Time fly when you wasting it Fast life, I was racing it And I knew I had to pay for it Always knew that I was made for this My path, I paved my path. And... We are done. <laughs> Continue. We are done. Uh, and it was good. It was weird. It's a weird concept. Like deadlifts, for example, I'm having to, or they're having to uh, restrain myself so much. Like it feels really good. It feels like it did before, right? So I feel like I could go so much heavier. But yeah, it's obviously you're kind of walking a tightrope. So it's just getting the balance right between doing as, you know, not doing too much, but doing enough that I continue my rehab at a good rate, you know? The other stuff was all good. Did some leg press for the first time, that was nice. Still haven't got the range in my ankle to like properly push out, but yeah, felt good, felt good. That's the session done, that is the video done. Hope you enjoyed it, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, transformation challenge, entry is open. It's gonna be a mad one this summer, so get involved, top link in the description. If you are new to the channel, please subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow.